What are the pros and cons of SIG Vs? A Glock. Choosing a firearm is like picking a good running shoe. It's a deeply personal choice and what works for one person might not be the best fit for another. But let's dive into the storied debate of SIG versus Glock, both of which are reputable manufacturers with dedicated followings. Pros of SIG 1. Ergonomics. SIGs, such as the P320, are known for their comfortable grip and natural feel in the hand. This can certainly improve shooting accuracy for those it fits well. 2. Build quality. SIG Sauer has a reputation for high-quality construction and materials, often including metal frames and SIG light night sights. 3. Modularity. The SIG P320's modular system allows the shooter to interchange between calibers and sizes with a single serialized trigger group. Talk about customization. 4. Trigger. Many shooters appreciate the smoothness and crispness of the trigger pull on SIGs. Cons of SIG 1. Price. Generally speaking, SIG Sauer pistols are more expensive, which can be a barrier for some buyers. 2. Weight. A heavier gun can be a pro for shooting but a con for daily carry. Metal frame SIGs can add some heft compared to polymer frame competitors. 3. Complexity. Some shooters find SIGs a bit more complex due to their features and design. This could be a turnoff for those who prefer simplicity. Pros of Glock 1. Reliability. Glock's claim to fame is their reliability right out of the box. Dependability is arguably the most critical aspect of a firearm. 2. Simplicity. Glocks are famed for their minimalistic design, making them easy to use and maintain. 3. Aftermarket. There is a vast aftermarket for Glock parts and accessories, far more than for SIG. If customization is your thing, you have more options here. 4. Weight. Glocks tend to be lighter due to their polymer construction, a big plus for daily carry. Cons of Glock. 1. Ergonomics. Not everyone finds the grip angle or factory grip texture on Glocks to be comfortable, although this can be modified. 2. Aesthetics. Subjective, of course, but some shooters find Glocks to be somewhat lacking in the looks department. 3. Stock sights. The stock sights on Glocks are typically less desirable than those on SIG pistols, so you might want to factor in the cost of an immediate upgrade. Living in Portland, Oregon, I've got access to a wide variety of outdoor ranges and gun shops to handle and test different firearms. It's always wise to get a feel for a few different models before settling on your personal sidearm. Ultimately, the decision between these two titans of the handgun world should come down to which feels better in your hand and aligns with your intended use. Whether it's for sport, self-defense, or duty, either choice will serve you well with the right training and practice. And remember, whether you choose the meticulous craftsmanship of a Sig Sauer or the rugged simplicity of a Glock, always emphasize responsible gun ownership and training. Stay safe, Portland.